Good morning to you. Tattooed on his arm is a Paintsville logo. The school defines who Bill Mike Runyon is. After 29 years, he will no longer coach the boys basketball team. The administration presented him a contract, two contracts to be exact. He thought uh, both were insufficient. Runyon is the sixth winningest active coach and won the 1996 state championship at the Paintsville Tigers. So what's next? Well, he told us he would never coach anywhere but Paintsville. No, I've, I've, I've got a tattoo on my left shoulder that's a Paintsville tattoo, and I would never coach anywhere but Paintsville High School. Uh, you know, Paintsville High School's been my life. I graduated from here. I went away to college for four years. Uh, I came back and started coaching here after I got out of college, and I would never coach anywhere else but Paintsville High School. And like Runyon, Clay County's Bobby Keith also spent 29 seasons on the sidelines as a high school head basketball coach. Last weekend, he was hospitalized, and we have an update on his status. The legendary coach has been taken off the ventilator and is now walking around the hospital, but only very little. That's the latest we heard yesterday morning. Bobby Keith led the Clay County Tigers, of course, to that 1987 state championship. The annual football luncheon, Kentucky football luncheon yesterday, and overall a spirited coaching staff had good things to say about the football Cats. Fourth season for head coach Mark Stoops. The players, of course, jacked up about the new practice facility they get to use now, including that guy right there, Cash Money Dangle. The Big Blue Nation will have to see what Drew Barker has in him as the starting quarterback. As of now, Barker is doing the right thing since quarterbacks coach Darren Henshaw got to Lexington in January. He's also not leading with his mouth. I said, you got to lead by actions. You got to lead by the first one in the weight room. You got to lead by everything. They'll follow you, but you got to go do it. And he has done it. With the building, you know, we're most proud of, and you've heard, heard me talk about it a little bit, we're really most proud of what's going on in our building, within our players. And that's the culture change, the attitude, the positive work ethic, the attention to details, and all the little things that it takes to win at a high level. Now just 35 days, of course, from that season opener. Pigskin previews, they start today, 40 teams in 20 days, and we start with the Phelps Hornets. Their preview will air later today at 7 o'clock right here on WYMT and WYMT.com. The Hornets are under a new head coach in David Jones, who comes over from Belfry, and they will begin the season at home with Allen Central on August 19th. So come back this evening and see the preview. A cut day at the 98th PGA Championship in Springfield, New Jersey on Friday. And while this graphic is really, really pretty behind me, it was not so pretty for a portion of the day on the course. Yeah, they had to get the brooms and the squeegees out. Rain delayed the tee times by 41 minutes. I like the yellow poncho guy, though. He's cool. Uh, ended up being a gorgeous day from there. Second hole, Hideki Matsuyama. How's your approach shot game? Real good. So good, an approach shot turns into an eagle. Moves him to three under. Let's jump to the 14 now. Jason Day battling a cold, the world's number one ranked player. Pretty bird, pretty bird. Six birdie in his last seven holes. He goes to six under. We stay at the 14th. Jimmy Walker, approach shot. What up? He's seeking his first major championship and first win in 37 starts and that is a beaut. Third straight birdie that would set up. He would finish at nine under shot a 66 on the day. Walker will be paired up with Robert Streb today. Of course, lots of guys in contention as you see right there. Jason Day just two back at seven under. But like I said, the world's number one ranked player is paddling some kind of cold. So we'll have to see if he can fight through and make a push this weekend. That's a look at sports this morning. Enjoy your morning.